Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Photoshop and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I would like to do today guys is show you how to create this blur effect. I have an example in front of you here. What I've done is I've applied this blur to the letter S to create this real cool visual uh, blur effect uh, that could be really cool for you to apply to many designs within your graphic design career. So the question should be is how do we do it? Okay. What I have on another tab here is a artboard already set up and with the letter S, I'm just gonna zoom in by pressing Command plus on Mac or Control plus on Windows. What I'd like to do now is resize this letter. So with the letter highlighted, I'm gonna use the shortcut Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows. And let's resize this like so, okay. So now I've positioned and resized my S. What I'd like to do now is convert the type layer into a smart object. It's very easy. If you right click on the layer, you have the option to convert to a smart object. Okay. What I'd like to do now is apply a blending mode to this particular layer. So if I come to my layer option here, we have our blending modes and the blending mode that I would like to apply would be dissolve. Okay. So with that layer highlighted, I'm now gonna to come to filter, blur gallery, and we have the option of applying a field blur. Okay, here's our first pin set. What we can do is increase the blur there, as you can see. You can do it through this option at the top right here as well. We can move the pins around, but we can also set new ones. If I click here, Fantastic, I'm just gonna increase the size of that blur just a tad there. There we go. Just gonna decrease the size of this one. And we'll probably add another one here and just increase the size of this one there as well. Like so. Yeah, let's say I'm happy with my blur here. I am now gonna press okay. We have applied a filter, uh, smart filter layer here as well. So we work in smart. So we can also, if we're not happy with the original blur, we can just double click blur gallery there, goes back and we can start to manipulate and change until we're happy. And there you go guys. That is how you create that blur effect within Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also take a look at our socials at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Some really cool stuff on there and some really interesting information. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.